welcome back. We are live. This is Sports Extravaganza. Uh, just from the ba uh, Backyard Ultra Run, uh, now we are shifting gears from running to a sport that combines running and holding a ball. <laughs> an oval, big ball that looks like an egg. Uh, of course, my name is Tony Kualanda. We are getting into the rugby matters. But remember, if you're just joining us, we have a very simple question. I'll be getting my iPad, which, of course, we shall be awarding those who are sending in their WhatsApp video clips for where we are asking. Of course, well, I'll also ask my team here from rugby, Kenya Harlequins, uh, what is ailing Manchester United? In fact, I don't know. I'll ask them also which team they support. But who, who is the problem at Manchester United? Is it the coach? Is it the player? Is it the fans? Is it management? Talk to us. Send us a video clip on WhatsApp. The numbers, of course, you can see them are below your screen. We shall be sharing here. You can also call us in live. But first of all, I have the Kenya Harley Quinn bandwagon. Kenya Harley Quinn, remember, these are the champions of the Sport Pesa National Sevens Circuit. Uh, of course, it's a tournament that came with goodies. Uh, they, they, they earned themselves both in cash and in kind. And I'm of course, na mdosi wao pia, spot person, walikuwa na chop my money, walipewa vitu zao, tauliza walifanya aje, and of course, wamepanga aje. You also have a player. First of all, let me start by introducing Leon Nyang. Of course, uh, watu Harley Queens, I'm a Queens, Harley Queen, I'm a Queens ukipenda, wanamjua sana, Leon karibu sana. It's good to have you. This is welcome to Cape Media. Up and took on a Radio 47 and took on a TV 47. Beautiful. Karibu sana. We also have coach himself, uh, coach, uh, head coach uh, Paul Murunga. It's good to see you after many, many years. Coach, uh, you've done congratulations for doing those milestones you've achieved in uh, rugby. Tunashukuru sana. Asante sana. We people watch and of course, uh, let's give you your flowers. You've actually done tremendous, of course, in the world. Of, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Karibu sana. To Asante. Seven. Yeah. And also we have uh, Sport Pesa Public Relations and Marketing Manager, uh, Willis Ojuang. Karibu sana. Asante Good sana. to see you again. Karibu sana kwa Sports Extravaganza on TV 47. Let me get into it. Coach... I remember there was an interview I was, you were, I was, I was, I was, I think, was it for, not Prince Lu, just before Prince Lu. You were so confident, just, um, Prince Lu, kutakuwa na mambo. But, aiku kuenda venya kulikuwa. How was the circuit for you? Eh, uh, season year seven. Uh, ah, uh, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, we can't say it was easy. Uh, I think it uh, goes back to preparation, uh, pre-season, how you prepare yourself uh, for, for the same circuit. And, and I think maybe Harley had a privilege to, to, uh, to be coached by a person that uh, had already won several of them. Yes. I won uh, two of the circuit with the homeboys. So I think it's the uh, same recipe that uh, uh, I use, same maybe game plan, same preparation to make sure that uh, uh, by the time we're ending the circuit, we are already in a better place. Uh, just not, not only winning some of the legs, but uh, also winning the, the overall circuit. And of course, being at Queen's now the third season, yes. uh, it takes time to prepare a team and to make sure that uh, we are able to play and win. Yeah. Indeed. So uh, it goes back to uh, players' commitment, preparation, pre-season, uh, selecting the right players, talent identif identification of the players, uh, polishing their, 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 their skill level, and of course, uh, uh, a good uh, technical bench uh, with uh, Simon Odongo, Patrice uh, Gunda, uh, conditioning, Standa, and of course, uh, Eden Aguero. Remember, Eden and Patrice have played for the Kenya Sevens Shuja for a while, and uh, of course, uh, being in that platform, already they know uh, uh, the role and uh, what they are supposed to do to make sure that players uh, perform to their best. Indeed, true. Yeah. Leon, who was your toughest opponent, uh, opposition this season in the circuit, national circuit? And how did you overcome them? Or they were just uh, doing you do? They were doing <laughs> you. <laughs> Funny enough, Tony, the toughest uh, opponents we had were ourselves. I won't like Watch any joke. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, yes. if you look at all our games, yeah. Uh, we had to come from behind to win most of them. So it was a matter of uh, belief, which we thank Coach Pau and his technical team. It's an amazing team that uh, built us beyond the physical aspect. We had the mental aspect of it, and uh, guys will never know how that cookbook worked for us. Yes. So the biggest challenge for us was Kenya Harlequins, but uh, 
Nikirudi kwa yosa inataka nirudi. Then um, <laughs> I, won't, <laughs> I won't I won't I won't mention KCB yes. or Cambras yes. as everyone would think. Yeah. Uh, these university sides are very very annoying, very annoying. So <laughs> for, me annoying. Always, for me it's always been blood. There are guys who they have a point to prove and they are they are young guys so going against them is always a challenge mentally first before the physical aspect but like i say thanks to coach pau we always had an upper hand indeed well done uh let me bring in the sponsor of course of the national circuit and also the sponsor of the upcoming uh, safari sevens trongela safari sevens uko mucho mucho to kimaza interview willis um i mean what, what was your take from this competition compared to the previous uh, circuits that we had uh, did you did you see value for it? Did you see talent development? Did you see growth in the rugby? Did you see something that we can see? Remember, of course, we are back to the national circuit. I'm sure you are you are happy that there's that development in rugby. Okay. So I think uh, thanks a lot for Karibu. hosting me today. Karibu, I think for us it's been maybe a blessing in disguise. I think second year in a row, uh, being the title partner of the national seven circuit, which became the sport Pesa sevens. For us, I think we've seen a whole journey of uh, developing and batting talents. Yes. I think that when we did it the first year, unfortunately, uh, Sport Pesa was just coming back into rugby. Yes. And I think uh, there's a huge crowd and a huge fan base of rugby in Kenya that for the longest time had missed out on really entertaining rugby. And when Sport Pesa came back into the Shuja, unfortunately, they went under uh, that relegation. And I think that that is what I'm now saying probably a blessing in these guys. Because we now went ahead, we didn't drop the team, but we restructured the partnership to now include the local circuit. Yeah. I think first year of the uh, taking up the local circuit, we saw a whole rebirth. I think if you remember, that is the same activity that birthed the current Shuja squad. What did we see after that? I think they went ahead to capture uh, the African Championship. Yeah. I think beating that SA in the finals, which meant that they booked their place in the just concluded Olympics in Paris. So what did that mean to us is that uh, by just coming back into the game and taking back that resource and the funding into the local circuit, birthed a whole crop of new players. Remember, there was a whole discussion about what nature of players are we bringing for, for Shuja to help uh, into that probably going back into the HSBC series. So I think first year of Sport Pesa 7s we saw a, a birth of a new squad. Then the second year uh, the team was taking part in the Olympics. I think mid into the Olympics uh, and mid into the circuit uh, we saw the Olympians come back to play into their individual clubs. And I think what we saw from that was a huge learning for us. That it even motivated the other teams, the 16 or so teams that were taking up in the local circuit. That they still have the gist, they still have the ability yes. to take on the Olympians. And we saw even the level of confidence, as Leon has said, yes. the level of confidence for most of those teams were even elevated. So I think for us as Sport Pesa, it's been very deliberate. For us, we care about the sport. We went back into the grassroots and sponsoring the national circuit. I think we've seen a whole new crop of players. Remember, the first time we've seen uh, a community-owned club, which is the Kenya Harlequins, coming up into tackling those who've always been believed to be well-sourced and the corporate clubs. And it's not been an easy journey for them because we've seen a lot of productivity put into the game. We've seen a lot of competitiveness, competitiveness go into the rugby. Yes. And I think the excitement of the local rugby is coming back to what we envisioned when we came back into it. Indeed, true. Yes. Uh, and, and coach, um, we've, of course, we've had a fair share of challenges and problems in rugby in the past. Um, looking at back in the day and now, uh, do you think we are where we need to be or bad to on a room for improvement, of course? That we need more of like Sport Pesa or what, what in your own you know, analysis? Um, uh, compared to the past, I think, yes, uh, uh, something not right of late. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> our, our fan base definitely has gone down uh, compared to those days during Safari Sevens and, uh, of course, now. Uh, that uh, a few years ago we can only have a few teams attending and of course uh, uh, a handful of, uh, of fan base. I think uh, first we need to, to build, uh, uh, to build uh, the fan base yes. to make sure that uh, we still celebrate uh, the, this beautiful game. And of course now sponsors like Sports Pesa are coming in and uh, making sure that uh, they support first locally to make sure that we, we, we play well in the local circuit, uh, uh, all the six circuits.
supporting the teams that are hosting, uh, giving prize money to the teams that have won, MVPs, most promising players, uh, all that. I think it's, it's in the right direction. It's in the right spirit uh, from sports person to make sure that uh, uh, the game has grown and it's growing uh, to a better, uh, a better level. And um, of course, I would say uh, right now we are better than before. Of course, we've had challenges. Uh, the team has been, as Willie really said, the team was relegated, then back into the circuit. And uh, of course, most of us or most of the Kenyans know uh, Kenya 7 Shuja, unlike maybe the 15s, the Simbas, or, or these other teams. So if Shuja performs well, if uh, we have better sponsorship for the, for the Shuja team, if they perform well in the international platform, uh, in the HSBC, uh, uh, going to the Olympics, uh, Commonwealth, uh, World Cup, then definitely we still build enough depth to make sure that uh, uh, the game is celebrated back here at home. And uh, uh, of course, uh, the players that we have right now, uh, they are up to the task that uh, they are supposed to go back into the uh, circuit, main circuit, and uh, making sure that they stay there. Uh, now we are not unlike during my days in the Aimba, whereby we are looking at winning one of the legs, right now we are looking at maybe just uh, maintaining our core status in the in the circuit and uh, making sure that uh, we are able to build a strong team, a strong base, a strong uh, depth in terms of uh, 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 maintaining our core status. Which is not easy because uh, uh, right now you have to finish top eight. Unlike during my days, uh, you, you only needed to finish top 15 and you secure your core status. So it's a bit tough. Top eight means that every leg you have to get into semis, uh, mm -hmm. uh, final, semis, final, semis, final, so which yeah. again, it's not easy. But uh, I think the boys are up to the task. Uh, we have a bunch of young guys yes. that uh, we saw them surprising South Africa getting into the Olympics and playing the Olympics, not as expected, but uh, yeah. at least they had that test of uh, uh, playing with the high level uh, teams and uh, making sure that um, the next season yeah. we are there. Indeed, that's true. Yeah. Uh, uh, Leon, uh, who is Leon? Um, Leon, of course, I, I know you've answered this question before, written it on your bio, on your Facebook, on your X and all that. <laughs> Of course, who is Leon in terms of, just in summary, I mean, where you, where you started from, where, where you reached, how you ended up at Queens. Because of course, you, we're speaking to someone like you who is in primary or who is in secondary or who is in college. And of course, they want to be somewhere like Queens or Impala or on all this. Uh, currently, Nyang Leon Udur, a graduate, a graduate at, uh, from Egerton University, Criminology and Security Studies. Um, started my rugby at uh, St. Joseph's School, Rapogi. Uh, I remember back then I bugged uh, a chance to present my team to the Nationals for the first time. Still a record in that school. Nice. Uh, that saw me to Egerton mm -hmm. University. I played for Wasps. And then I moved to Nakuru. And then uh, from Nakuru, uh, I linked up with coach uh, Paul. Uh, he called me to Kenya Harlequins. Um, not the easiest of journeys I've had. I've had uh, a few problems here and there that saw me exit the game for a while. Nobody believed I'd come back. But again, uh, there is no place like Queens because uh, I've met a management that uh, when the world was looking at me as a, a different person who is incapable, uh, they were able to build me into someone who is very versatile and a utility in the game. Makes me a weapon and uh, yeah, pretty much I enjoy seeing myself play as well. Well done, well done in that. Uh, Willis, where do you see yourself with rugby? Uh, with, of course, with Sport Pesa. Uh, are we just going to see you on and off once in a while here and there? But of course, I know you have your long term, short term, and those plans, of course, for rugby. Uh, are you going to pick up a team or are you just going to do the cumulative blanket? Watch any funike watoto yangu na blanket duve muzima. Of course, I'm sure you have those. Uh, share with us because I'm, I'm sure Murunga and Coach will be very interested to hear that. Yeah. Uh I think the place of Sport Pesa in the sponsorship of our sports in the country yes. has been known by, from back in the day. True. I think this is a new rebirth of uh, the company as well. Yes. I think we've seen the kind of value that uh, sports sponsorship comes with, especially for local corporates uh, from the private sector. I think going forward with the interest we've seen both on and off pitch, uh, for even interest in rugby, it's a wake-up call for us. Uh, we never expected that. that so much interest would come out of the game yes. by virtual sponsorship, I think only second year in a row. 
the going into next year, uh, we are more than sold, and right. we believe that there is much more sponsorship that is needed for these teams. Mm -hmm. I think there are already talks in place uh, with community teams, not to jinx, but probably Harley Queens being one of them. We already have some arrangement with uh, Harley Queens uh, to give a bit of support, though we are cognizant that that is not enough to develop some of these teams. I think most people that watch the Sevens only see the, the few minutes they put into it. But the level of preparation from dieting, the level of preparation even psychologically, even for the players and the technical bench themselves, really goes a long way. It's a wake-up call to us to uh, pump in a little bit more to be able to support our clubs. Indeed. So I think going into the new season, I yes. know they're preparing for Kenya Cup. Yes, Kenya uh, Cup. Mm -hmm. I think Sport Pesa will be making some announcements, ah. uh, even if it's not for Kenya Cup, but even for the, 50, for the, the next circuit that we'll see. We'll be able to support a bit of more teams that are communal to be able to just help put in that competitiveness of the game such that the, the circuit is not very predictable of yeah. some of the winning teams. So yes, not just the men teams alone, but even uh, women uh, mm. team sponsorship is also key for us because we've seen the dire needs that these teams actually require. The little support really goes a long way in terms of preparation for the teams. So yes, we'll keep it on tabs. Uh, there'll be something cooking from back in our kitchen. And of course, of course, to Giamini initiative has been there, awarding uh, both some of the outstanding players in the this circuit. Yeah. Uh, maybe just in a summary, you can share about that, uh, the awards and the MVPs that you gave during the Sport Pesa. Okay. So I think 2024 saw a year when Sport Pesa was trying to redefine what it's been doing in terms of social responsibility. So I think we birthed to Germany. It's a program that we did back in the day, but we decided to put in a little bit more flavor into it this year. Yes. I think we introduced a funding model now to it. And uh, once it rolled out uh, back in around March, but then when the, when the rugby season came, we decided to also put in a little bit more of effort. I think to Germany is lucid translated to let's believe in ourselves. And that's exactly what we've seen in the pitch. We've seen a community club with not title partners and not pipe, uh, title sponsors come out to beat what have been perceived as the giants yes. of the game. Yes. So to Germany came through in place. Yes. I think we introduced new prizes for uh, MVPs. I think in the, the various categories of to Germany, we had categories in 500k and 100k for silver winners and we had multiple bronze winners, something that we introduced called bronze square ground. So I think to Germany has been very impactful such that uh, it's also introduced a bit of funding and support not only for the individual teams okay. but also to players as well. We've seen uh, players, the likes of Lucky uh, from Kenya Harlequins again, being able to bag uh, some of the uh, bronze prizes on the ground, yes. be it for MVPs. We've seen women teams, some who were in really dire need. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen even teams uh, playing barefoot back in rugby, and they're playing competitive rugby. So we're able to award some women teams uh, 10,000 for individual players to just help uh, resource that. I think the learning also for us for Tujiamini is it's a program we had planned to run in just 2024. But I think as we get into 2025, it's again a wake-up call to us that Tujiamini does not need to end in 2024. It's now putting in a, a bit more strategy yes. to be able to elevate the game. Yeah. But key for us is also to bring on board other partners other like-minded partners to just bring in that machine-led support. Indeed. Yeah. Of course, even TV47 is one of your partners, I'm sure. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> to, to assist the game. Coach, uh, Safari Sevens is here. Uh, Kenya, of course, will be hosting so many, uh, several international clubs or teams or countries. You've uh, seen Safari Sevens uh, yourself uh, back in the day when you are, you, are, you are like Leon and myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. seeing it now from this other side. Mm. How important is this tournament to us, the Safari Sevens uh, specific? How is it important? And where are we as a country in terms of now, uh, you know, keeping up with the other, our other peers in, the, in this? Yeah. Uh, as, uh, Safari Sevens has been always a, a good platform, especially for our Shuja team. Uh, we usually feel the Shuja and uh, and Moran team, uh, but at some point, you find out that uh, the winning circuit winners, uh, local circuit winners, also have a slot. And uh, uh, some years back, we used to have uh, under 18 or the 20s. Yeah, I think I've coached uh, under 18s like twice in the Safari Seven, so uh, building depth. 
to make sure that those uh, young boys are able to to get a feel of uh, playing uh, international level uh, but here at home so uh, first i think it's to build a, a depth with the young guys yes. and uh, upcoming yes. uh, of course you can't buy experience so uh, that is one of the game that uh, you want to see your rookies playing and making sure that uh, they're able to fight against uh, uh, big teams and uh, uh, other teams that are coming from abroad then uh, the, just to lift the profile of the, can the, 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 the country in terms of rugby, awareness of uh, uh, this is a, a rugby nation whereby you find out uh, fans come in and cheer our Shuja team uh, and uh, making sure that uh, they have fun and of course uh, uh, for union to collect a bit of revenue for the, <laughs> for, for, for the same. <laughs> so uh, Safar so Service has always acted as a um, one of the major, very, very important uh, 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 tournament uh, back here in Kenya. Uh, we've we've uh, missed uh, several teams uh, in the recent years. Because I remember those days we used to have Samoa, main team coming, uh, Fiji, Thank main you. team coming, public school wanderers, and uh, a lot of teams from the UK. Uh, British uh, 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 Island coming here just to play, having a team. South Africa, emerging box uh, coming here. Uh, Western province yes. uh, uh, playing in the same platform, just here at KRU, just here at, uh, at RFE uh, right, grounds. Yeah, yes. So, uh, of late, okay, we don't have those big names. Uh, uh, thanks to uh, uh, Samurai, who nowadays call themselves, um, how do they call themselves? Shogun, I think. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they've maintained, in terms of uh, international uh, uh, teams, they've maintained to make sure that, and they've won uh, several Safari Sevens, but of course uh, Shujaz has uh, more, more, more titles in, in the same. So it's a, a, a brilliant tournament, and uh, we like to see it going back to where it was in, in the near future, whereby you have uh, enough funds. Uh, we have enough sponsorship for the for, for the same, and of course uh, more than uh, uh, just like right now. I think we, we are doing 12 teams. Uh, as much as yes, it's uh, according to uh, Olympics and according to World Series. Uh, those days we used to have 16 teams, and uh, of course with the, like, more than 12 teams or so 14 teams coming from uh, all over the world. So we're looking to improve uh, uh, forward in the near future, whereby Safari 7 will go back to its status and uh, making sure that we have a better tournament. And it's step by step. I, I remember several things. Of course, that time of COVID, we couldn't host. I remember that time of, uh, of um, Westgate. It was the same Saturday where we hosted uh, uh, the same tournament at Kasarani. Again, some of the teams opted out mm -hmm. from that time until uh, now. So uh, slowly, I think if uh, we make it right and uh, if everything goes well, and if our team also performs well, uh, the Shuja team and the other teams, then we'll, we'll, we'll definitely in the near future have uh, the same Safari service that uh, uh, we used to have. Indeed, that's true. Yeah. Uh, let me bring also Leon. Uh, Leon, <coughs> uh, were you looking forward to Safari Sevens when you are still uh, eating from uh, melanin plates. Me is is yeah. Mel melamine. Melamine. <laughs> 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 Why is he looking towards it? Or where I, uh, I mean, tell us something about somebody saying that you liked about it. Yeah, it's one of the biggest stages I've always wanted to be on. Yes. And um, at first, it was always my dream to get a call up to the national team. Yeah. To have myself that chance to be in the Safari Servants. Sure. Uh, but I'm glad uh, I got myself my own chance with my team Well done. Uh, to be on the same platform. Uh, Safari is big, uh, not just for the players, but also for the fans. Uh, for a player, it gives you that platform to build something more for yourself. Because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's where you become more than just the game. Sure. It's where you put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's like a mapping strategy for you. Mm -hmm. So you show, you show the country what you can do, but you also show the world what you can do. For the fans, uh, it's where they make their moments. It's, it's not just about the game. It's about coming together as a, as a rugby community and uh, building on memories, cre creating profiles from the players and supporting them uh, on the socials and uh, further. So yeah. You're looking forward to that. Of course, fans are welcome for the Safari Sevens. Mm -hmm. It will be from the 11th to the 13th in Machakos. In fact, it was earlier this week officially unveiled by 
Her Excellency Governor Wavinya Ndeti, I remember uh, she was playing rugby at White House in Machakos. And uh, she did well, according to my <laughs> analysis. Uh, uh, of course, uh, you, uh, Willis, you've heard from what uh, Coach has mentioned. Of course, we are somewhere, but we're not there. Yes, yes. In terms of Safari 7s. Yeah. And of course, we're going to Machakos, and I'm sure you're involved in it. So first, I think thanks for reminding me that uh, so I think we're on the right track uh, with what you mentioned. Uh, bring on board TV47 as one of our media partners in what we do right we're here so be, with us having you it means uh, we are learning from the best and there is value that uh, tv47 and the entire cap media uh, brings into elevating our sports which is why we are even having this discussion i think safari servants i'm sure that those who are watching and uh, i'm not sure which side you support from the epl side yeah. If you're told it's mm -hmm. Arsenal, then we are. Uh, we remember the famous visit Rwanda. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's typical of for those who know, uh, it's just not just selling a country. So I think when Safari Sevens began back in the day, it was it was supposed to be a platform to just showcase to the world, in terms of rugby, what our sports is capable of, not only on the international stage but on the global stage. The kind of confidence that it gives to the players, the kind of uh, opportunity to showcase our country just beyond, not just on pitch, but even beyond sports. Mm -hmm. So first, as Sport Pesa, I think uh, primarily we are part and parcel of Safari Sevens by virtue of sponsoring uh, two teams that are participating in that, which is the Shuja and the Morans. I wish you would support more uh, to just help elevate the game. But like uh, Coach has mentioned, is it's a platform that needs to be really be given a lot of support. I know for the first time it's getting outside of Nairobi. There are a lot of question marks around it and uh, whether it's the right thing to do for the fans or whether or not. But uh, for us in terms of the place that Safari Sevens plays in not just showcasing our country, but I think this is one of the, the in fact it will be the last activity that our national team will be taking part in before they get back into the HSBC series. I think it's a platform to see they've not played together since Olympics. Uh, there have been questions around preparation. And for us, we are eager and we are confident that when the call-up will happen, uh, we'll see a lot of fresh talent, especially that emerged from the Sport Pesa Sevens that has just been concluded. So I think it's also a wake-up call to the rest of the country, from right from government to even other private sector players. The Safari Sevens is here with us, less than a week to go. It's a platform for the players, and for players, uh, whoever probably gets to take part in it, it's a platform to just showcase each, each person's individual potential, and I just tell the Tujamini story at the end of the day. We also need to make sure that actually Leon is also a beneficiary uh, of Tujamini, and we've seen the confidence that came out of it, we've seen the productivity which gives us a pat in the back that yes, we are on the right trajectory. Yeah. So Safari Sevens, a weekend packed of activities. Uh, we believe preparations are, are in place uh, to just give the fans also a good experience to those who missed out on the local circuit to experience the game. But also, it's also a time that we see other nationals, uh, those who reside in Kenya, yeah. uh, just come out really in good numbers to come and support their teams. Uh, just give them that morale yes. and help elevate the game. Yeah. I know it will come with a lot of learnings. Uh, everyone is eager to see who uh, lifts it. I know uh, the competitive teams coming on board, yes. but we can only wish for a more and a better Safari Sevens as we go into it. Indeed. Willis, thank you very much, Willis Ojuang. Thank uh, you. The Sport Pesa Public Relations and Marketing Manager. I hope I've said that your title correctly. <laughs> Public relations and advertising manager. And advertising, yes. I was looking for that word. But <laughs> forgive me, I've used marketing. Public uh, sport professor, public relations and advertising manager. That is Willis Ojuang. Sorry for putting marketing. No problem. Uh, but thank you really for making time. Leon Asante Sana. Um, Leon has just been playing cool over here. I'm a, I'm a cool person, a sport person. I'm a cool person. You are a you at a ombua. I'll talk in Bila Kuniku. But well done for getting that award from the 2GM. Mini, of course, awards. And of course, coach, um, keep up the good work. Of course, there's a lot of talent coming up. Where do you pick your players in, in one second? On, um, you pick your players yourself because uh, someone is very, and they're interested from college, from uh, primary, uh, from anywhere. I think if uh, I might point out, I'm uh, one of the 
best coaches in this country, not only in coaching, but I think in talent identification. So uh, this came as a result whereby uh, for years, I coached uh, Kenya under 19 for, 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 for six years, then under 18 so for, for two years. Uh, in 2014, I took uh, Kenya under 18s to the Junior Olympics, the first ever. Uh, they are representing, uh, by then, they are representing Africa uh, in the Junior Olympics. So, through that, I think uh, with the time, I've always had a, a, a better eye in terms of talent identification from grassroots. And of course, connection with the high school teachers and um, uh, university guys. Uh, we usually have a platform whereby uh, I can easily go and, uh, and uh, visit a teacher or vi visit a school as part of development. Uh, several years ago, I used to do rugby on the road, whereby you just visit school, you do your clinic, you watch players uh, play, uh, young players in school, high school. Then from there, you can pick uh, your, your best players. So, yeah, of course, like the team that I had this season, we only had one player that was in the national team. And uh, all the team, uh, no one has ever won a uh, uh, local circuit. Uh, so it was a fresh team for me that uh, uh, well done. came up and uh, did wonders. So, yeah, identification from, from back to, to roots, to, to schools, schools yeah. and uh, machinani, uh, talent identification, and just bringing them uh, to Nairobi and uh, coaching them and making them, that's my passion, by the way, and making them great players. And, uh, of course, for years I've coached so many guys uh, uh, straight from, from grassroots to now national team, and most of them now playing in abroad. Right. Well done. Well done, coach. Well done, coach. Asante, son. I've been there to witness that, of course, when I was yeah. still young in the 2000s, <laughs> starting my journey. Asante, of course, we are well done. We yeah. really appreciate for the work that you do. Thank Keep you. Keep up with that. Leon, Shikili and Lea, Sisi ni wazetu mezeka. We are happy to see, of course, you coming up and, of course, shining and taking up this national collapse, the, the series that it deserves. So keep it up. And, of course, the entire team at uh, Queen's, and Eleni Kabisa, I'll be visiting uh, your base later on in the evening. Yeah. You are Muko now, one, two, three. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, thank you sure, very much, sure. gentlemen, for making time. Mm. And of course, Alfred, thank you for bringing this gentleman. Alfred, of course, was um, the one is Alfred was the one uh, in sure the chef the mission of Kenya Alequins here. Mm. And Rotun, of course, whatever you are, Asante Sana for making sure we facilitate this. I know Ronald was supposed to be here. Uh, Ronald, yes, I think, but I'm going to Safari Sevens and a crack mambo ya when you're trying to machacos masaku on the 11th. Me personally, 10th, Nico Machacos, <laughs> mapema, not to parane, of course, for the Safari Sevens that entire weekend. Thank you, gentlemen, indeed. At this juncture, there is that story about Kericho, um, Kericho cross country, uh, that.